Hello guys and gals, and uh, this is an informative video where I teach you all how to make a Japanese PlayStation Network account. Um, a lot of you have asked how I acquired LSE Dream Emulator in the video, I told you that I made a Japanese PSN account, and a lot have asked me, private messaged me, on how to make one, and how I can do it, how to get the, you know, PSN cards and everything, and you know what, this is a video that teaches you exactly how to do that. I'm glad everyone's loving LSE Dream Emulator. But uh, as far as you know, if you want to play that game, you're going to have to buy the PlayStation 1 disc A, which uh, is <clears throat> pretty fucking costly, mind you. Or you can do what I did and just make a Japanese PSN account and download the game off of their servers onto your PlayStation 3, play it right here at home in America or Europe or whatever other region of the world you're in that is outside Japan, and have some good old fun. Uh, now, again, once again, before we begin, I might as well just tell you this game is Battlefield 3. It's a game I like to play. It's a really fun shooter. It's uh, something that EA made. You know, I, get, I, I really like it, but that being said, that aside, to make one, this is what you need. You need a, a Sony device, and when I say Sony device, I don't mean PlayStation 4, PlayStation 2, or, you know, PS1 you can use if you got the disc version. But if you want to get it digitally, you're going to need a PlayStation 3. Now, I'll put PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita on a star. I don't exactly know if you can do it on them right there, because I've heard that you need a PlayStation 3 to transfer certain files over. There's there's a whole myriad of steps involved with that procedure. But uh, this is if you have a PlayStation 3, obviously. Uh, you will need an email address that you should make right now on any server you want, because you're going to need one during the sign-up process. And... That's really it. Just, just all you gotta need is a PlayStation 3. Oh, and, and you're gonna need an internet connection. Now I sound like those Howcast people. You're gonna need a table for eating. But you're gonna need an internet connection, obviously, for downloading the game and if you're watching this video. that That's just what you need. You don't need any special cables or controllers or something. Just a PS3 with an internet, internet connection. Um, uh, you're gonna need a credit card or you know, a PayPal account or a, any sort of banking institution to also pay for the PlayStation card you purchased, because remember, you can't just go to your GameStops or I don't know what retailer it's in the, in the UK, I think it's Game, you can't go over there and buy a PSN card, they're region locked, so you're going to need a Japanese card, and for that you're going to have to buy it from an online market, which I'll show you later. That's what you're going to need. So that being said, if you have that provided, let's go right into the steps. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to obviously create a new account on your PlayStation 3. So here I'll just name myself a uh, random name over here. Uh, Japan LOL I think is what I name myself. And once that is made, you're going to sign into it, and that starts the first procedure in making your PlayStation Network account. That is set in Japan. Takes me a little while over here. Uh, Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is go to the PSN tab. Uh, I'm just dicking around over here. The PSN tab, you're going to go to Sign Up. In the Sign Up section, you're just going to obviously press create new account, it's not an existing one yet. So create the new account, uh, it's going to ask you for all the stuff, don't worry, I'll walk you through it. Hit continue, and first thing you're going to do is change that from the US to Japan. Uh, it's going to be set to whatever country I think you bought your PlayStation 3 in because it's regionally set, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter, you go all the way up and uh, there we are, Japan. Now all this is going to be different, then it's going to ask you for the uh, language over here, you don't have to worry about that, obviously, you know, that's Japanese. Uh, it only gives you one option. Uh, you set your birthday over here. I'm gonna set myself as a super OG all the way back in the day to the 1900s. Alright, that's how old I am. That's, you know, I mean, in case anyone was wondering. This is my actual birthday. Date. No, date. But this is the actual birthday right here. Okay, this is my real birthday. No, no lie. You hit that continue button on the bottom. And this is just the terms and services. Uh, just agree to them, don't worry about it, Sony's not going to, you know, attach you to other people, ask them out, don't worry about it, that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, but this is now, now it's going to ask you for your Hotmail or Gmail or whatever idea, it's going to ask you for an email address. I made an email address prior to this, uh, it's YouTube Japan, feel free to spam it if you want, uh, that, that'll actually be enjoyable. But over here you just basically just add whatever you want, any email account. I'm, kind of fucking up here you got that ad it's a hotmail account that's what I made it takes you like five minutes you'll need it trust me and uh, you know write it down somewhere too because this is an account you'll keep possibly in the future to get other Japanese goodies from their store because there is a stark difference which I'll show you later on uh, here it'll ask you for a password I'm gonna skip that make sure you save the password and go next because why the hell not you don't want to keep entering it now it's asking you for what your PSN ID is I'm kind of thinking over here, but you know what, I go across with a YouTube Tutorial 6, so um, it's going to be 69, but uh, PSN doesn't allow you that many, unfortunately. 
So just keep on going along and that's pretty much it. So you got your PSN maiden. Obviously you're gonna have to make sure it's registered. Yeah, see, so it's an account that was never made before. Next thing here is your first and last name and it's gonna ask you for your gender. Now, I'm just gonna give it any first and last name. It really doesn't matter what you give it over here. It's not like they're gonna check if it's a real first name or a last, you know, real last name or, or rather anything else. Now, here I'm just entering whatever. So if anyone can translate, that'd be nice. This is asking you for your gender, of course. So let me just check what I am. All right, I think I'm one of those. So, well, we were past that step. But here's gonna ask you for your postal code. Now this is an important step. I'll put a website in the description below, which you can click on and you can enter anything, but just for precautions, just put in the number that I am putting it right here, okay? This will solve everything, just follow along. Hit that orange button and it'll fill in everything for you. And you can just, just hit next. Now this is gonna ask you if you wanna be sent promotional messages. You can check it if you want, I, I don't care. I'm just gonna go right to the next because that's really all we need. So go hit next, and this is gonna ask you to just check your information. So is everything legit? Yes, it is. So hit yes. Do not fret. Actually, you know what? Do not set your birth date as that low. I don't, I don't know. Uh, just, you know, just set it, just set it as like 1993, okay? Just, just do that. <laughs> just, I don't know. I don't know what PlayStation Network can do, but once that's made, just, just sign in to the PSN Network. It'll take a little bit. Um, God damn, you were pretty slow with this, right? Okay, now once you're signed in, you're gonna go right to the PlayStation Store, and this is how different their store is compared to ours. They really have a lot more than what we have, trust me, on this one. Their their store is way different, especially when it comes to PSN Classics. They, they are the OGs in that department. But yeah, the new store update kind of sucks because it takes a while to load, but just as a precaution, their store is far more drastically different than ours at points. Not too different, I mean, they have the same mainstream games, but the classic section is much different. So, of course, once it starts, you obviously see Ghost in the Shell right over there. I gotta pick that up. And uh, they got their games, yada, yada, yada. But the next thing you're really gonna wanna do over here before you go through is, obviously it's all in Japanese, but I'll walk you through how to search for it. Um, you won't really find LSD, you know, in the classic section. Yeah, as far as I've checked, it, it can get it can get pretty you know confusing over there. So you want to hit that search button on the top, what I just did, and this is the Japanese keyboard. Now I don't know if it's uh, if it's I don't, I don't know which lettering it's in, but you know what? You're gonna hit the select key on your controller until you get to this keyboard, this one right here. Make sure you remember what it looks like. You're gonna type in L S D, press the start key, and hit that button. It's gonna search for LSD, and there we go. That is the game we want. It's 617 yen, which is a little over 10 bucks, I believe. I think it's like 10, 50, 11 bucks. But uh, you wanna to go to PC Game Supply, which is a site I go to, and basically, you can go to any site, really. You can buy these off, I think, eBay or Amazon or whatever. But you wanna go over there and pretty much just uh, get a card. Uh, the reason I say PC Game Supply is because I buy everything from there anyways, that's just me personally, and they deliver instantly. So you know what, just try it, they accept credit cards and PayPal, whatever. So you want to just keep on going forward once you have purchased your card. Then it's time to go spending. And here you're going to go to the very first section of the PlayStation Store, go all the way to the bottom, and this is where you redeem codes. Once you have obviously purchased one, it's, uh, how many it's a 12 digit code, you just enter whatever you need to. I didn't buy a code, I already had one, but let's say you had some money. I had some money saved over in my actual Japanese account. And this is a classic section, so this is how you're gonna purchase the game. It's, it's pretty much the same way you purchase a US game as well, or a European game, but I'm just gonna throw it in there for good measure, I guess, you know. Obviously over here now, that's the buy button where it says uh, 390 yen, the blue button. You hit that one, and once you hit it, it's gonna take you to this cart page where you can add it to the cart, you can check out immediately. You're gonna hit that button on the right. And once you're over here, that button on the top is a PlayStation Plus thing. The button over there, the one you press, the big, uh, the, the one I just pressed is gonna ask you if you wanna add stuff to your PlayStation Network wallet. You don't wanna do that. The one on the very bottom, once you have a sufficient amount of cash, you hit that, that button right there, the one on the bottom with the four uh, letters. It's gonna take you to the cart page or the, you know, the pre-purchase, make sure you got everything set page. 
or no, actually just made the purchase to be honest, and then you see that arrow that I'm highlighting, you hit that and it's going to download that to your PlayStation system. Now the thing about it is, is you don't need to play this signed into your Japanese account. You can sign into your normal account like I've done over here as denoted by the theme in the background. You hit that bubble, that's the package it downloaded. You hit it, hit install, and it's going to install the game for you. You're going to have to wait for that to finish obviously. And uh, once it's finished, you know, the install is complete, you can play the game now, you just simply have to go all the way back, go to the, you know, game section on your PlayStation hard drive, you hit X, and the game starts. There you go. It's that simple. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything else, you don't have to do any crazy stuff. And uh, it's going to start just like it would on a Japanese PlayStation 3. I'm not skipping any install right over here. See, you got the PlayStation on the bottom. It says SCEI. You know, it's there. And the game is right over here. And you know what? It's actually a fun game. It's a dungeon crawler. I'm enjoying it. And uh, that's pretty much how you just purchase a game on the Japanese PSN store. That's how you set it up, buy codes, and purchase games. So if you want to get LSD, this is exactly how you do it. Just replace a game I purchased with LSD. And right now, you're seeing me play it on the Vita. You can copy it to your Vita or your PlayStation Portable if, you know, you sync the account to that device. Or you can remote play it. And that's pretty much how you do it. So I hope now you've learned how to make a Japanese PSN account, and I hope you have a got an LSD Dream emulator for yourself, or any Japanese classic or game that you wanted to get from their store. A lot of people have asked me about this, so I decided to make this video and just tell you guys outright how to make one and how to acquire one, because this game can be pretty pricey, as you saw in the beginning, and if you can get it for 11 bucks versus that amount of cash, then uh, why not? So, this is how you get LSE Dream Emulator on your PlayStation 3, PSP, and even your PlayStation Vita, provided you follow these steps. Again, I used a PlayStation 3 to do this. I'm not entirely sure if you can do it just on a PSP or a PlayStation Vita, so you might want to look a little more onto that. I'm pretty sure you can, but I've heard, you know, other stories from other people who've, uh, who've been on the PS Vita from, like, different regions and stuff. It, it's really weird. But as far as on PlayStation 3, you can do this, and this is a trick that a lot of people did, you know, even in the past when... You know, this game wasn't out when they were getting other content off of it. I do the same thing on the Xbox as well for certain DLC, only on certain games for that region. But yeah, this is how you make a Japanese PSN account and how you acquire games. So if you're wondering, and if this helped you, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, you know, tell me how you feel. This is me, Mudahara, and uh, this has been an informative video, <laughs> and I am out.